Hi, I'm Stacy King. I'm going to give you a little intro into the, the life of radiologic technologists. So we are standing in what we call an RNF room, or a routine and fluoroscopy room. So we can do numerous procedures in here. Um, we can do a fluoroscopy exam, or we can do tabletop exams, or we can do table bucket exams where they're laying on the table, or we can have our patient standing up at the chessboard as the upright bucket. So we can do exams standing up. Some of the exams we do, um, the patients may be un have to get undressed, they may not. If we have to get our patient undressed, we want to make sure we have them covered up completely. So if you have a lovely blue gown that opens in the back, you might want to give them two gowns, keep them covered front and back. Um, when we get our patients back, we want to use two patient identifiers. So we're asking their name, their birth date. Um, and you also want to verify if you're doing the correct procedure on this patient. So orders can get mixed up. You want to make sure you're doing the right exam. If it's a patient that's in a bed or a stretcher, we might have to use a aid such as our glider. We have an easy mover or it's called a glider that we can put underneath our patients when they're on the stretchers or beds and slide them onto the table. It's more comfortable for the patient and it helps the technology save their back. So once your patient's in the room, as I said, if it's a tabletop exam, we can actually lower our tables down so the patient can get up on the table a little easier. using a table buggy. This is called a buggy. We can either use what we call a CR cassette or a computed radiography cassette or we can use a digital detector. With these the image automatically comes up on your screen. If we're using a CR we actually have to run that through a CR reader in the next room. This is an overhead tube so we will actually bring this over top of our patient. We'll line it up with our table and our buggy to take our images. It actually has a cathode anode up here in this tube. If we're doing a fluoroscopy exam, which is a continuous x-ray um, being used by a radiologist when he's taking his images, we'll be using this camera. This actually comes across the table to take the images and there's a tube underneath the table. When we're doing those type of images, we use what we call lead shields to protect us. So the radiologist and the technologist will have a torso shield on. This wraps around. Then we'll have a thyroid shield on. And when you're working in radiography, you can always have a dosimeter on. So when we're in fluoroscopy, we're actually putting our dosimeter on the outside of our thyroid shield. So it detects how much radiation we're getting. When the radiologist is doing his exams, he may need to slide his hand up underneath and rub on the patient. When he does that, he'll put a leg glove on. So it's protecting the radiologist's um, hand when it's up underneath the floor. So once you have your patient positioned, and we do have other lead shield such as a little waist shield where we can slide it right around our patient's waist or we have a rolling shield where we can just roll it right in front of our patient if they're standing up and we also have little pediatric shields so we have positioned our patient for their exam and then we come behind the control panel and these have changed over time now we just have digital screens when you're working in a digital room. This is going to be our exposure button. It's like a little x-ray tube on there. If the room is not turned on when you come in, you have to use the button that's got the dot in the middle of the circle. That's your own button. So think of it as, I'm coming into the room, I'm coming into the circle. If we're leaving the room and you need to turn it off, you're going to use the button with the dot outside the circle. Think of it as, I'm leaving the room, turning the room off. That's coming outside the circle. We also have extra sponges that we use for our patients to um, get them in the correct positions. And we also have markers that we use to mark right and left sides of the body, different positions the patient is in. These are called markers. Once we have taken our image, 
we're going to go to the next room and actually show you where we um, develop our images. So once we have taken our image, we bring our cassette into this room where we will flash our patient information on it and then we'll run it in the CR reader and then the image will come up onto the screen. If you were still doing the old timey film developing, then your film would come out and you would hang it up to view it. Such as this one. This is a copy, but we still use this to um, look at our images and teach image quality so our patients know, our students know, what our image needs to look like when it comes out. Um, we also use phantoms. These are called phantoms. We use these in teaching so our students, we do not x-ray each other. Our students will actually have phantom so they'll get a feel for them, what your image should be looking like. And this is called a view box. So the images are actually viewed on the view box. We have one up on the wall, but that's not hooked up yet. Um, but we use that to evaluate our image to see if we need to do any additional images. Once we are finished, then we will go and tell our patients they um, will be expecting to the results from their doctor because as technologists we do not read the images and give the patients information. They get those records from their physician. So this is our portable machine. If the patient cannot come down to x-ray to us, then we can go to them. So we can use this portable machine um, to get in a very, various positions in the room. The tube head will move all the way around so we can Wherever we need to take our image. And we can transport it onto our patient. So, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this segment on the day in the life of a radiologic technologist.